Hey everybody, this is Ben Rhymes, the Tech Savvy Educator, and I am here checking out the Adobe Education Exchange. Beta! Um, this is a community uh, for educators that uh, are all about Adobe to, uh, to share stuff, to share lesson plans, ideas, books, resources, curriculum, all sorts of things that uh, either uh, involve using Adobe products or have been created using Adobe products. And they just happen to have a little contest going on here, the 2011 Educator's Choice Awards. And uh, some nice people that work with Adobe asked me, hey Ben, uh, would you mind uh, um, you know, talking about this on your blog and uh, maybe sharing some of the resources, that sort of thing. And I said, okay, that's fine, but you know what? I, I, I want to actually show some of these resources to you guys rather than just talk about them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click right here, learn more. Uh, and in case you are Adobe using Educator and you're interested, they've got a nice little guideline uh, uh, right down here, a little timeline that tells you all about the contest so between August 1 oops, that already went past till October 14th they are accepting submissions and ratings and then after that it kinda gets like to be a little sort of a popularity contest because they're actually gonna take the ratings that are given to the content by the people in the community um, and then uh, that'll determine the finalists for the nice big uh, winners announced November 9th. What can you win? Well, all sorts of cool stuff. Laptops and, and cameras and creative suites. Oh my! Uh, but anyways, I thought uh, like I said before, I, I actually wanted to see what kind of content was getting put up there. So I'm going to click here. It says join or sign in to browse the resources. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I've already signed in to save your, uh, the trouble of having to watch that. And here I go. I can go ahead and use any of the search criteria here. So uh, subject, I can go to U.S. and Canada, United Kingdom and Australia. And the big difference between the three, of course, is that we teach math here in the US and Canada and in the United Kingdom they teach mathematics no that's that's not true that's not the big difference there's a lot of different curricular reasons why that's different but you know since I've pointed that out I'm gonna go ahead and click on math I'm not gonna click on an age I'm not gonna click on a product or a resource type I'm just gonna leave it as is click submit let's see what we can get here so I'm gonna scroll down Da -ba -da -ba. And we've got uh, look 62 search results, so that's not too bad. And I'm just going to take the one that's right here at the top, adding two-digit numbers using an expanded algorithm uh, by Sue Glasgow. And Sue, if you ever watch this video and I just mispronounced your name, I apologize. Uh, but anyway, Sue has it tagged grade two, three, four. Cool. So oh, and number sense and operations. So I'm going to go ahead and check that out. Adding two-digit numbers using an expanded algorithm and a lot of the uh, resources here on the education exchange I'm noticing they come in a lot of various uh, 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 types so in this case we've got a flash one but it might not be a flash file it could be something else it could be a video it could be an ebook it could be a presentation uh, but in this case let's see adding two digit numbers using expanded algorithm uh, Flash Professional is used, and there's a little description about it and whatnot. And uh, I've got it right here, and it looks like I can actually play with it right here. Um, but uh, if I want to use it with my kids, I'm going to want to make sure I come and click on this and actually then download it. So I could go to File and Save, and then I could actually save this Flash file on my computer. That way I could use it with my kids. But I'm just going to go ahead and play around with it here. So it looks like, all right, Expanded Algorithm add okay so not a lot of directions here so I'm guessing this would be very teacher directed I'm gonna click my little oh hey there we go Ooh, 27 plus 35 so my, my natural incl inclination is, is to want to like write on it because it's flash right so I should have like a, a pen or a pencil or something so that, that might actually be something kind of kind of nice to have maybe I'll mention that to Sue um, or if one of you know her, or maybe I'll, I'll put that in the comments. Set. But anyways, so here we go. Uh, 27 plus 35, we'll go to the next step. There we go, we got our question there. And then, woo, flash magic. Seven goes down, five goes down. So I see, so we're expanding this algorithm out. All right, so we've got our ones, and when we do the ones, that adds up to 12 here, and we've got our tens. And that adds up to uh, to tens. This is really interesting.
because normally what you do is you take this one and you would carry it up there like that and uh, um, you wouldn't normally write it down there like that so uh, this is an interesting way of doing this and this is actually the way that my daughter does this she is she's six and she kinda likes to add that way so there we go I'm gonna go ahead and boom boom 62 and then the 62 flies over there. Ah, here is the carried one over here. So they're showing it in the expanded form here, but they're showing you actually when you write it, of course, your teacher's going to get um, get on you about uh, not carrying that one over. And there we go. That was it. That was simple. So I could walk through this again. And uh, it looks like that's it. When I get my little reminder, here's the one carried one over. So I guess this would be good as a, um, as a little teacher demo, or maybe if you wanted to after you had already, um, you know, sort of started the whole idea of expanded algorithm with your class, maybe you could use this uh, and, and throw this file up on, uh, on some student workstations or something and have them um, use this just as a demo to, you know, how do I go about doing this. It does move kind of quickly. It'd be nice if you could almost, you know, right-click it and, and maybe slow it down, but I don't think you can do that. Just rewind forward, back. So it'd be almost nice if you could slow that down a little bit, but I think ultimately this this is it's a decent little demo. I think if you actually had a virtual pen and you could write on it, that would be a lot, a lot more useful. But in its current form, considering it's free, uh, that's not bad. Might be something nice for your students to use, just as a, a little reminder of, hey, by, by the way, how, how did I do that again? So, so there you go. That's uh, my uh, uh, exploration today, at least, of the Adobe Education Exchange and some of the resources that have been published up there as a part of this contest. So if you want to go, uh, all you got to do is just type in edexchange.adobe.com. You can sign up for an Adobe account, or if you already have an Adobe account, you can use that. Um, and then just you know find a resource uh, and uh, there you go. Uh, tell me if you know what what you think. Uh, I plan on making one of these videos in uh, uh, every week that the contest is going on and uh, and to share with you. That's it. Until next time, I am Ben Rhymes, the tech savvy educator, and I will talk to you later. Adios.